one of the things that actually uh, made Instagram um, top on our list was through the referrals and then through the interesting way we actually shared the food. We, we, we have food art. I started making the food into art and then it was easy for mothers to actually refer one another. So Instagram actually made it easy. We have a page on Facebook too. So just the way, uh, I mean it's social media. So it's about, oh, I saw this, my dear friend, can you come and see it? I saw this, can you come and see it? So off the social media, we've been able to use that to actually develop the word of mouth referrals, which is off social media. So right now, because of our distributors and some of the efforts we actually make to go for exhibitions, you know, and in print flyers, we've, we've been able to get word of mouth you know, word of mouth and referrals, aside just the Instagram, but it wasn't on purpose. It was just meant to be enjoying, you know, myself. Um, the major challenge um, has been that of distribution and also has been that of growth. So distribution, um, I mean in terms of logistics, even within Lagos, um, to get good hands, to get good um, logistics um, companies to actually partner with you, you know, because it's not easy. Investing in logistics is another investment on its own. So we've actually been having issues with getting good logistics um, companies to actually partner with us to make these things easier, the products easier to move from one place to the other. We need to move the products from the factory to the distributors and to the customers. It has you know, been a challenge, so but we tried to um, use our own personal um, cars to do the delivery, even our distributors too. You know, end up using their own personal cars you know, to uh, move, and also uh, um, having regular challenges of growth. You know, scaling up our production has uh, been a challenge. You know, it's an everyday challenge. We have to grow. We have to move from one level to the other. We've had um, situations where we actually produced a large batch for a whole month. Everything was bad. You know, so we had to um, discard the bad batches because we're dealing with food here. We don't want to feed and babies bad food and then it wasn't our fault from the supply chain to the distribution chain eventually we realized that the food after making it everything went bad so we had to discard everything and we started all over again so challenges of growth like this you know, are, are actually things that we've been working with um, really speaking i must say that um, the made in nigeria um, um, policy, the Made in Nigeria initiative by the government has actually really helped Ogos Secret. Uh, I believe Ogos Secret is actually a, it's the pride of Nigeria, I must say, you know, because everything we use is 100% um, 100 um, locally sourced. The only thing that is not um, locally sourced from Ogos Secret is the containers that we use and they are even produced in Nigeria. They are only, you know, just produced by expatriates, but it is here in Nigeria. So everything we use, even the equipment that we use, all the equipment that we use are all fabricated here in Nigeria by registered um, um, technology um, equipment fabricators. So I believe that um, the government is actually, uh, the Made in Nigeria initiative by the government and the backward um, education policy by the government is actually very favorable for us. Like, like I, I said, said the value chain, you know, is not just about producing, only producing the baby food. There is a lot of opportunities in the value chain in terms of processing, in terms of logistics, in terms of you know even um, the media, there is a lot of opportunities you know, in the uh, baby food and value chain. The advice um, that I would give um, is do what you love. If you love it, the challenges just look like you know a piece of paper before you. But if you don't love what you're doing, I give you two months. You go back home because the challenges will weigh you down. That you will even forget your you forget your identity. You will be so so depressed. And eventually, you know, it uh, becomes an issue. You wouldn't, you have, you lose, probably lose your investment, and you know. So, but when you do what you love, and of course, when you do what you love, you would even want to learn more. When you know, you would want to actually uh, reach out for opportunities to learn, and that was, you know, what happened in my case. I, it's not like I knew everything from the beginning, but because cooking is actually what I love, and most importantly, cooking for children and ensuring that they're actually properly fed. I decided to go for a course in it. So if it's not something you love, even if you go for courses, even if you get funding, I'm sorry, you might not succeed. I feel very um, excited to uh, be able to lend my voice to um, children nutrition. Um, infant and young child feeding is actually uh, one of the key um, issues as you know, the rate of uh, malnutrition across um, Africa, especially, is actually growing at um, an alarming rate. And um, one of the um, solutions to this is actually um, um, actually increasing the 
um, micronutrients of um, availability in foods, everyday foods that uh, we send to our children. So moving from just giving the foods to my, my son and to, to my neighbors and then to my friends on Facebook and then going ahead to feed, you know, we actually uh, are fed up to 50,000 children um, since we started, you know, every month we feed up to 2,000 to 3,000 children. So it's actually uh, a plus for us. We actually have um, a recent research you know, stating that about 2,300 children die annually due to malnutrition. So we're looking to, even though it's just a 500 or 300, to reduce this rate. That way, which you know, be able to actually uh, um, uh, um, uh, contribute, you know, to the reduction in the rate of malnutrition in Africa. So, with our foods, just a taste of our foods, um, each of our foods actually have daily uh, nutritional content that is sufficient to provide up to 45% of the iron and the protein nutrients that children need to grow. So that means that your brain development, even the weight, the height, and everything that it takes for a child to grow nutritionally is contained in our food. So all we just need to do is just ensure that we increase our distribution channels to be able to reach more children. Um, okay, so I feel very honored to be uh, recognized as one of the women in uh, the agrarian and the food sector, um, particularly because I don't even have a background. I never studied anything at big, but uh, I found myself you know, in, in the space and then um, I've been uh, making efforts you know, in research, gone for trainings and here we are today still growing. So I, I, I see it as a big honor and um, I'm willing to even do more. This is actually a call for this to do more. Secret is uh, the leading, growing, innovative child food solutions uh, company in Africa. We um, feed children daily with nutritious foods and the truth is, if the child is not in a basic I don't know what else the child is. Okay, so I want to show you the process of how we make the veggie beans. Okay, so um, first, the beans is being dried. This is hot, so we need to be careful. First thing, take it out. Don't fool me. Now we'll take it out. Oh, this is quite So it's quite hot. Exactly are you waiting? What we want to do? We want to wait before finally mixing it. So hold on to. So the standard weight on this tray is usually about two kilograms. So we're trying to get two kilograms on the way. Why does it why does it have to be exactly two kilograms? Um to allow you know the um, beans to dry. Even all the grains that we use, you know, we need to allow it to dry. So we don't want um, to use and um, we don't want to add extra extra flour. We're supposed to be. Yeah, yeah. It's better this way. Makes sense. Let me just put it. Don't get the scale of this. Two kg. Yes. So what? So what we have here? So now we're going to mix. So here, we're going to pour in. Can you just add it in here? Yes, we're going to pour it gradually into it. It's going to be a gradual process. So I can mix it for mixing. So what I yes. can do Okay, so after mixing this, after mixing this, we'll take it back onto the tray to allow it to cool before packaging. So you don't package um, hot or freshly mixed um, products or flour or grains. So we have to uh, uh, pour it here and allow it to, you know, air and you know, to, uh, to cool for about three hours, two hours before we now go to package it and take them to the packaging. Yes, we weigh them. The tops already have measured 
um, there, there is a, already a measured um, container, a measuring container to pour into the top. So we, we uh, measure manually. Once we're done with this, we take it, we we'll allow it to cool for two to three hours, and then we measure manually into the tops. And this is for the veggie beans. Yes, this is for the veggie beans. Right, this is yummy. Yeah, so this is the veggie beans cooling off here. So we're going to allow it to cool off for two to three hours, you know, before we go ahead and package.